I'm going to sue the NYC commission. Why? Because you guys are trying to stop this fight and say, I can't smoke weed. But when, when Tyson used to fight in New York, and we all know Tyson does shrooms and smokes weed, and we love Mike. We love Big Mike. Mike is the shit. But y'all never tested him and made him stop drinking weed. Oh, uh, drinking weed. <laughs> smoking weed. But you'll make me stop smoking weed. Nah, don't open that. I don't know what that is. I can, NYC commission, and I'm saying this why. They're trying to challenge me for evaluation. I said, okay, what is your premises for the mental evaluation? Well, your tweets and your posts, I said, is it not my US constitutional right to have free speech? So um, because I'm tweeting what I'm tweeting, uh, you, that's premises for a mental evaluation. Huh, that's curious. So now you're trying to mess with my constitutional rights. Now I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna sue you for, for defamation of character, actually. I'm actually gonna sue you now. And on top of it, like I was saying before, they don't they, they won't test Mike Tyson if he fought in New York, but they will test me. Hmm, huh, sounds a little fishy to me. And I love Mike loves me. But at the end of the day, I cannot wait for them to actually take me to court. Cause I will literally defeat him. I will literally defeat him in court because my own therapist told me I should be smoking weed. She all no, but I mean, she told me, why, why aren't you allowed to smoke weed? Thank you. Thank you, Ari. Shout out, Ari. Gwanda. I, I never even tried Ashwagandha. She said that it will help me. And then she said, why haven't you tried shrooms? I'm like, I don't want, I wouldn't try shrooms. I don't ever try shrooms. Like shrooms is not my thing. You know, I never even tried it once. But she's the one that mentioned that to me. So what I'm saying is, so if my therapist say weed will help me, and they're stopping me from smoking weed, that should be against the law. What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everyone in main man, me man's boxing form? Hey, look, man. So the thing is this. I just caught a recent rant from Ryan Garcia in which, you know, through all of the stuff that he normally says, uh, we, we finally got to something that, that, that really got some weight behind it, man. And, uh, I heard Ryan Garcia threatening to sue the NYC boxing, com I mean, athletic commission, mainly because clearly the NYC commission is looking to put Ryan Garcia through some kind of psych eval. And, uh, they're also looking at his drug use or his marijuana use. And his drinking as well, fight fans. And they're saying, I guess this is a reason to see him needing a psyche vow. Also, according to Ryan Garcia, they're observing his tweets as well as his behavior online. And clearly, this is starting to draw some red flags from the NYC. Also, sanctioning body, the WBC, is also said that they are also looking to intervene as well. According to Mauricio Suleiman, head of the WBC, he claims that they are in contact with the New York uh, City Athletic Commission over this particular issue, and they have concerns about this as well. According to Mauricio Suleiman, and I quote, we're in direct talks with the New York Commission where the fight is to take place. And you know, social media, it is good and it is bad at the same time. So it looks as if that they're looking into this as well. Now, keep in mind that the sanctioning body WBC does not have the power to stop this fight, but they could pull their sanctioning for this particular fight. I don't mean, like I said before, that wouldn't go. But so far, it's the New York City Athletic Commission that has the power to shut down this fight right here. But to know that a sanctioning body is concerned, I mean, that can be uh, um, honestly a lot of power to get this fight shut down so we'll see how it all works out man real spill now ryan garcia is clearly stating that you know he feel as though he should be able to smoke and do whatever he wants to do because fighters like mike tyson was able to do it not to mention that you clearly heard ryan garcia went down the whole thing of saying that his therapist recommend that he does marijuana and recommend that he does other things as well which I find it kind of hard to believe, but according to Ryan, this is what's going on, or at least this is what he was told. And he's also threatening to sue the NYC Athletic Commission uh, if they go forward with this. Well, fight fans, we pretty much knew what we were gonna, we were running a risk of ending up here. And due to Ryan Garcia's behavior publicly, you know, we knew that this was gonna start to draw red flags uh, to his 
mental condition. And normally, you know, when fighters are displaying this kind of behavior going into a fight, they can be seen to be unfit for a fight and the fight can be canceled. It's even starting to get to a point now where boxing fans are starting to wonder, is this fight going to be canceled or should this fight be canceled? I mean, no one wants to see Ryan Garcia clearly not focused on training, not focused on doing what he needs to do in the gym to try to win this fight. Well, no one want to go in there and see him under the conditions that he's in, in, in a fight. This can end very, very bad. And I get it. A lot of people around this see dollar signs and say, hey, maybe Ryan Garcia's antics may do well for him at the pay-per-view uh, uh, box office. And that's a lot. Of, that's what the promoters and the managers and even to a certain degree, Team Haney is probably even looking at. And so they're trying to maybe creep towards this fight. But still, if Ryan is not seeming well, if he's not seeming right for this fight, I think the right thing to do is to pull him out of this fight. And, gl and granted, that may be what he wants, fight fans. I believe that's what he wants. And I believe that's why this act even started. If he gets pulled away from this fight, he'll he'll definitely claim that it wasn't his fault and he was ready to go and so on and so forth. Where, And he'll, you know, forget all about a lot of the things that he said. But we clearly see his behavior not being right. And even if it's, if it's an act, which I believe is an act, this is still a clear sign of this kid just does not want to get into the ring with Devin Haney. And, you know, listen, if if he don't want to take the fight, if he's afraid to lose his position, if he's afraid to lose to Devin Haney, if that's, if it's all like that, man, it's, it's pussy-like behavior, to be honest with you. And I'm not even thrilled to seeing it. I mean, he's keeping it real, keeping it real. At this point, I'm even wondering, is Devin Haney versus Arnold Barboza an even better fight? I mean, you got to ask yourself this fight, fans. Seems like just Ryan Garcia doesn't want this fight. He's still clearly drinking and smoking. Even during this clip, his father had to interject and say, yo, well, you're not smoking, though, right? And he came back and said, no, I'd be lying if I said if I, I wasn't. So he basically is still smoking. In this particular clip, he had just got finished drinking a bottle of wine. So he's clearly still drinking, fight fans. How is a fighter uh, in this case, in this situation, or in this state prepared to take on the biggest fight of his career and going against a, such a dangerous opponent like Devin Haney? So the question I ask to a lot of fans, do you want to see it? I don't know, fight fans. It's just it's all wacky now. You know what I'm saying? Um, as a boxing fan, I'm just not geared up for this fight no more. Um, I just think that Devin Haney is just going to go in there and sweep Ryan Garcia. Now, it would be more entertaining to see Ryan Garcia in the post fight, if anything. But either way it goes, though it may be entertaining, it's still going to be, you know, this kid unraveling even further. And I don't know if that's cool. So we'll see, man. Thumbs up on the way out. If you didn't hit it on the way in, share, 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 rock the bells. It's very unfortunate how this, the turn that this fight took, man. In the beginning, when this was initially announced, I thought we were headed towards a really, really good scrap. Two fighters with amateur history against each other. A lot of good buildup. But now we just ended up in a place where fight fans, I don't even recognize this no more. Real spill. To the next video. Peace out.